Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Camel Tropical Brew flavored cigarettes from Mexico, which contain 10 milligrams of tar, 0.7 milligrams of nicotine, and 8 milligrams of carbon monoxide, making these a lighter, full flavored cigarette than not when compared to others on the Mexican cigarette market. But what is Camel as a brand? Well, Camel is an American brand of cigarettes that was first introduced in 1913 by the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. And still to this day, within the United States, R.J. Reynolds is the producer of Camels. However, it is a different story outside of the United States, as in 1990. Japan Tobacco purchased the international rights to many of R.J. Reynolds's nameplates, including Camel. And so today, every pack of Camels produced outside of the United States is made by Japan Tobacco or Japan Tobacco International, including this pack right here, as it is indeed from Mexico. But what is this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, as said, it is the Camel Tropical Brew flavored cigarette. And from what I can tell, at least, it is one of the newest flavored camel varieties to have gotten put on the Mexican cigarette market. The earliest result I could find on Google about this variety right here was from October 2nd, 2022. And so I figure it was probably introduced onto the Mexican market sometime around or right after that point in time. And so as such, this definitely is quite the new uh variety to have met the Mexican cigarette market. And so as such today, I am looking forward to letting you guys know whether I think it should stay on the Mexican cigarette market or whether it should get taken off. And in general, I'm just looking forward to finding out just how good or just how bad this pack of cigarettes is right here because one, it's a cigarette I've never tried before and because two, I have had a positive experience with flavored camels so far. And so as such, I'm looking forward to finding out just how good or just how bad this one is as well. But what are my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, taste-wise, I am very much expecting before I pop the pop capsule as this is indeed a pop capsule flavored cigarette. Before I pop the pop capsule, I am expecting a sort of, I'd have to say, mildly sweet, generic sort of spearmint menthol taste. That's very much what I'm expecting. After I pop the pop capsule, I am expecting a sort of tropical brew type taste, I guess, whatever that means. In all honesty, I guess tropical brew probably means it's going to taste like tropical fruit, I guess. Maybe like pineapple, mango, kiwi, something like that kind of thing, if I had to guess, of course, all with an undertone of menthol because that's what the main taste of the cigarette is going to be. The flavor is very much just an addition to the menthol. It's not its actually own distinct taste. The menthol taste doesn't ever go away kind of thing. But that's very much what I'm expecting taste-wise. Maybe it'll be a little bit of a combination of all of the fruit flavors kind of thing. It would not surprise me at all if the flavor of the pop capsule doesn't really have a distinct fruit-like flavor. It's just kind of like a citrusy flavor that tastes like a lot of different stuff, but nothing at the same time kind of thing. Would not surprise me if it tastes like that in all honesty. And I'd have to say I'm not expecting any sort of a chemical taste or any sort of a low-quality paper taste or anything like that kind of thing, just simply because the flavor and menthol is going to be heavy enough to cover that taste up if it existed to begin with. Those are pretty much my expectations taste-wise for this pack of cigarettes right here. But what about body-wise? What am I expecting the body of the smoke to be like? Well, I am expecting a, I'd have to say, smaller body than not. This is a 100 size cigarette. And while it is a full-flavored cigarette, it is definitely still a lighter than not full-flavored cigarette. So I'm not expecting the biggest body in the world. And I'm also expecting the body to be a little bit airy as well, just simply because I'm expecting some perforation on the cigarette filter. I'd have to say airflow wise, I'm expecting the airflow to be quite light at the beginning and I'm expecting it to get heavier uh, as we get towards the bottom, but I'm expecting the airflow to be perfectly fine in general. I'm expecting the draw to once again be pretty light at the beginning and for it to get slightly heavier towards the bottom, but to still be much more light and airy than not just due to the expected perforation on the filter. And I would have to say, ah, uh, let's see, roughness and smoothness wise, I am expecting these to be... I want to say around about probably 
6 out of 10, if I had to guess, kind of thing. I'm not expecting them to be particularly smooth by any means, but I'm also not really expecting them to be particularly rough by any means either kind of thing. They might be smoother than I'm expecting. That wouldn't surprise me at all, in all honesty, but I am just going to leave it as uh, as a 6 out of 10 for this moment, for, for the moment, for this moment in time, uh, with 10 being the roughest and 1 being the smoothest. So definitely uh, slightly rougher than not, but not super rough by any means. And those are pretty much my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here. And so now, without further ado, it is time for me to go ahead and hop into the packaging of, well, this pack of cigarettes. After I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm going to go and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the chemical, one of the chemical, one of the camel tropical brew flavored cigarettes from Mexico, all it up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes taste like, what they feel like, uh, what, what, the, what, what the smoking experience is like, everything like that kind of thing. After that, after I stub up my cigarette, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this pack right here. And I'm going to go ahead and give them a rating. But first off, as said, we got to cover the packaging, which I will admit I am a pretty big fan of. From a distance, this pack is much more distinct than not. The camel logo is not the most distinct from a distance, I will admit, but the actual design on the background and everything like that kind of thing is super distinct from a distance. So if you know what you're looking for, these are going to be really, really, really easy to spot because the background just looks so much like a tie-dye t-shirt, which is a really, really, really unique look for a pack of cigarettes in my personal opinion. And up close, there are a lot of details to this pack of cigarettes right here. From a distance, it looks pretty interesting, but up close, it definitely looks a little bit more interesting than not in my personal opinion. And up close, it definitely looks like a, I'd have to say, higher end mid-range cigarette. It's not quite like luxury cigarette territory per se kind of thing, but it definitely looks like a higher end mid-range cigarette. And overall, due to the background and due to the details that I'm about to talk to you guys about, I am a huge fan of this packaging. Let me tell y'all what. I am a fan of this packaging. I have seen packaging that has the sort of like multicolored background before and everything like that kind of thing, but not with these colors and not in quite as much of a tie-dye look because this really, really, really does have a tie-dye background to it, which I am a huge fan of, as I'm sure you guys can tell. But I do suppose before we cover the foreground and all of the details of the packaging, I should probably go ahead and cover the background. Although there's the background and then there's a foreground on the background and then there's a foreground above the foreground of the background. So there's a lot to talk about, I will admit. But let's go ahead and cover the bottom layer of the background first. And that would just be the colors that we can see right here. We can see it starts off as an orange in the middle going around the pop capsule right here. This is meant to signify that this is a pop capsule cigarette after all. So there is a little bit of like an orange like crush bead right here or something like that kind of thing. And we could see the color starts off in the middle right here as sort of like an orange just like this uh, pop capsule right here and the orange is spreads out just like that kind of thing just to all sides and everything like that kind of thing but in some sides on some sides it fades into like yellow and on some sides it fades into like a dark blue which looks pretty good if I do say so myself and really gives the packaging very much a tie-dye look as said which I like a decent amount however that's not all there is to the background of the packaging so now let's go ahead and cover the foreground of the background of the packaging but not the actual like foreground with all of the details that we can see like the camel logo and everything like that kind of thing there's more to the background than what first meets the eye and this very much is a pack of cigarettes that you kind of have to look at for a moment to really be able to realize all of the details of and everything like that kind of thing now i'm not sure how well the details show up on camera i'm sure they'd show up better if i had the cellophane all off so i'll have to show you guys what the pack of cigarettes looks like again after i take the cellophane off but below the foreground with this like logo and all this text right here and everything like that kind of Thing. there are a bunch of lines stretching around the tie-dye background and everything like that kind of thing there's sort of like a circular line going around this one right here and there's like a circular line right here and right here that's kind of like cut off and then right below the camel logo right here it actually spells out in those lines c-a-m-e-l camel so yeah it says camel twice on the front of the packaging and the camel logo it starts off like c up here a m e l i want to say something like that kind of thing it's kind of hard to tell because i can't really see it on my uh, camera screen i will admit maybe you guys can see it better in post but i'm not exactly sure in all honesty but it does indeed say camel right there and it's just one of those designs that you kind of have to look at for a minute to kind of realize what's going on and then above the camel right there there are a bunch more lines going on and everything 
like that kind of thing. Looks pretty good as a whole, if I do say so myself. And oh my goodness, I almost just had a pine cone hit me in the head. It just fell down like right here and then bounced over just a little bit kind of thing. That's like a solid two feet from me. That pine cone almost killed me. I cannot believe this in all honesty. I cannot believe this. But that's pretty much all there is to the foreground of the background of the packaging one other thing i do want to mention before i move on to the actual foreground foreground is that the design does indeed stretch all the way around the packaging including the lines on the front of the packaging the lines that are like kind of circular around this and they kind of like stretch out and everything like that kind of thing those wrap around the packaging as well not only to this side but also to the bottom as well and same with the colors the colors stretch around to the bottom of the packaging as well that is something i love to see i love it when designs stretch around the packaging kind of thing and it's really hard to do with mexican packs of cigarettes because there's a warning label right here and a warning label right here and a warning label right here but they've done it nonetheless on this pack and it's something that i am a huge fan of seeing but that's pretty much all there is to the background and background foreground so now let's go ahead and move on to the foreground foreground of this pack of cigarettes right here starting off with the camel logo itself we can just see it just says camel right here in white with a silver border going all the way around each and every single one of the letters it's the pretty it's pretty much just the typical camel logo i definitely have to say it's not like curved or anything like that kind of thing like it is sometimes it's a definitely flat that is for sure so it's a little bit different than you might see on some packs of camels but it is very very much font wise the exact same camel logo that we all know and love you know what i'm saying as said it's just a uh, all the text is just in white and it's got a silver border going around all of the text and all of the text is embossed as well which i love seeing of course we can see that the part of the a is made up by old joe right here which is very much the uh, i'd have to say like camel mascot these days you know what i'm saying very much the camel mascot that is for sure and the hump in old joe right here very much um like sort of curves the m as well which is a pretty nice look if i do do say so myself old joe is embossed as well and old joe does not look like old joe normally does let me tell y'all what he does not look like old joe normally does instead of being a normal camel just made to look like a camel kind of thing old joe is a bunch of dots made to look like a camel which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. We can see there's a bunch of really small dots and a bunch of really big dots and everything like that kind of thing. All of those dots are white with a dark blue background, which contrasts pretty well to this right here and makes it look a little bit different kind of thing, which I actually think was a good idea. All of these dots are individually embossed as well, which I am a huge fan of, I ain't gonna lie. Individually embossed, I love seeing that, that is for sure. Big fan of it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this right here. I think the uh, look they took with, uh, with with Old Joe on this pack is definitely very, very, very different and a very, very, very nice look. It's got a whole sort of like almost artsy look to it kind of thing, which really matches with the sort of like tie-dye background really well kind of thing and the whole sort of, I guess it could be another way of signifying that this is indeed a pop capsule cigarette, just like this does right here kind of thing. All those dots, those are all the pop capsules and everything like that kind of thing. I'd say, oh man, it would be really cool if Old Joe was only made up of 20 dots, but I'm pretty sure there's more than 20 dots, but it would actually be really cool because this is a 20 pack of cigarettes. If Old Joe was only made up of 20 dots that would be one dot for every single cigarette with every that would actually be really cool that would be such a nice detail i ain't gonna lie but no old joe is made up of more than 20 dots that would be a really cool detail though i ain't gonna lie y'all but but as said, each dot is individually embossed, and I think it is a good look as a whole, that is for sure, and definitely a very different look than I'm used to seeing from Japan Tobacco Made Camels. Moving on below all of this right here, we can see there is a orange dot right here that is embossed, and then it's surrounded by a sort of like white sphere that fades out into the orange and tie-dye colors in general kind of thing. It almost look like looks like the moon is, is going across and, and kind of going in front of the sun kind of thing. It almost looks like an eclipse and this is like the uh, like light trying to escape from the eclipse kind of thing it almost looks like that pretty cool look if i do say so myself this is embossed as said and it is just very much a pure orange like bright orange look i definitely have to say under all of this right here we can see some more text it just says in silver with a blue background going all the way around it tropical brew which is of course the variety name and then under that in white text with a blue border it just says that this pack of cigarettes contains 20 cigarettes and of course that just means that this pack of cigarettes contains 20 cigarettes and that's pretty much all there is to the packaging we can see the top right here with the uh, the top 30 percent of the packaging has um, a warning label on it this is a warning label i've never seen from mexico so far it just says fumar es causa de aborto which just means smoking can cause abortions and then we can see there's a uh, baby with uh 
I'd have to say, a uh, massive, this, that baby looks like he got dropped to me, like, look at that, y'all, he's like, he looks like he got shivved or something like that kind of thing, I don't know, I don't know, that doesn't look right kind of thing, I'm not sure if that's like, uh, that doesn't look right kind of thing, I, I don't know, I don't know what an aborted fetus looks like, I will admit, but that doesn't look right to me kind of thing, that doesn't look right to me, that just looks like he got dropped on his head kind of thing, although granted the umbilical cord is still in there and everything like that kind of thing, but I mean like he's balling, I ain't gonna lie, he's laying on a bed of cigarettes, I mean like how much more baller can you get, the fetus is lying on a, on a bed of cigarettes, <laughs> that's something I never expected to say, the fetus is lying on a bed of cigarettes, yes, Yes, it is. That's pretty funny if I do say so myself. That's pretty funny if I, yep. The fetus is lying on a bed of cigarettes. That's pretty funny, I ain't gonna lie. That is pretty funny. Well, that's what the warning label says right there. Uh, of course, in Mexico, there are warning labels, uh, like grotesque warning labels that are required on the front of the pack and everything like that kind of thing. And this is one of them. Um, warning labels in Mexico are required to cover up 30% uh, of the front of the packaging, 100% of one side, and 100% of the back. And um, so yeah, that's the warning label for the front. Let's go ahead and move on to this side of the packaging before I cover any of the other warning labels to the packaging. We can just see very much uh, that the colors do indeed stretch around, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. And actually, I just noticed this, but the colors continue up here and actually they stretch around to the top top as well oh man i love seeing that i ain't gonna lie that is that is pretty cool okay i got no complaints on my behalf about that i didn't notice that up until this point but hey i can't complain that is for sure you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and just flip the packaging to the side so i can actually take a look at the details let's go and start off on this side right here we could just see the tar nicotine and carbon monoxide levels for this pack of cigarettes right here it just says tar 10 milligrams nicotine 0 0.7 milligrams and monoxo decarbono which is carbon monoxide it just says eight milligrams that's all in white text with a border of excuse me of blue and then it just says under that there's a or just there's just a phone number under that it's just 800-045-1584 which i guess is their like consumer complaint line if you want to call them or anything like that kind of thing and then under that or not under that i'm going to go and cover this in a minute but to the side of that it just says uh, un producto de jt international una marca registrada de japan tobacco inc uh, which just means a product of japan tobacco international uh trademark of uh trademark registered with uh, japan tobacco incorporated and then it just says importado por japan tobacco international so imported by japan tobacco international uh, and then it goes on to say their address which is um uh, Mexico S or Japan Tobacco International Mexico. I guess that's actually the right way of putting it, but their address is S D R L D C V Calzado, Calzada, Marino, uh, Escobedo, 476 Paiso 11, uh, Nueva Anzures, Miguel Hidalgo, Cuidad de Mexico, CP 11590. And so, yeah, the headquarters for Japan Tobacco International are indeed in Mexico. And then it says under that, Hecho en Turcoya, which if I remember correctly, I forgot to translate that before this video to make sure, but I believe that just means that these are made in Turkey. Uh, not made in Mexico, these are made in Turkey. This is one of, Japan Tobacco is one of the only varieties, uh, is one of the only brands in Mexico which does not actually uh, produce the cigarettes in Mexico. They're made uh, generally in Europe and then shipped to Mexico for whatever reason kind of thing. But um, yeah, they don't make any cigarettes in Mexico. It's uh, made in Turkey and then shipped to Mexico. But some of their other cigarettes are made in other countries. Like they have uh, packs of Winston's that are made in Germany. I've got a pack of Camels uh, from Mexico that was made in Ukraine and everything like that kind of thing as well. Um, but you know, that's what it says right there. And then under that, in a very bold white with a blue background, it just says Para Venta Exclusiva en Mexico which just means for exclusive sale in Mexico. So no, you cannot take this over the US border and sell it here because it says that right there. Although you could do that illegally, but of course I would not encourage nor condone you doing that because that's highly illegal as this is not an FDA regulated cigarette and flavored cigarettes are banned for sale in the United States. So don't do that, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. And um, all that's left on this side is the barcode right there, as we can see. Let's go move on to the other side right there. We could just see it's a warning label. It just says Fumar Effecta di Stasolera, which I believe just means uh, Fumar effects like growth or something like that kind of thing. It's talking about smoking while pregnant again kind of thing. And then moving on to the back, it just says uh, Dano el, Dano el uh, Sistema uh, Reproductivo, which I think just means uh, like smoking can affect like your reproductive system or something like that kind of thing, not exactly sure. Then it says under that, El Tobacco Aumenta El Risigo, the Aborto Espanol, Porto Prematuro, Baja uh, Peso El Nasser, Y Enfermedas, Pediatricias. Uh, I, I guess that means I'm 
butchering the pronunciation of all of those words, I will admit. Um, but uh, if I, I did translate that before this video, translated the back of this before this video, and if I remember correctly, it just goes on with a list of just like what can happen. It's like premature birth, abortion, low birth weight, all that sort of fun stuff kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what it says right there. Then under that, it just says that this pack, uh, that these cigarettes contain uh, talio, which I think is talic or something like that kind of thing. That's what Google Translate told me at least, uh, which is like a, a, uh, an insecticide apparently. Um, so apparently these cigarettes contain that. And then under that, it just says, Linea de la vida, déjà de fumar, te convi, uh, which just means smoking, quitting smoking now, like basically just says quitting smoking now is better for your health kind of thing. Uh, and then it just has a number, which is their like quit smoking number and everything like that kind of thing. And it just says 800-911-2000. Uh, I'm not gonna listen to any of that kind of thing. I'm not gonna call that number because I don't care. I don't care if smoking is bad for me. Big baller moves. We be smoking cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, that's what the back of the packaging looks like. Let's go and move on to the top of the packaging now. We can just see, once again, the uh, design stretches around, which I'm a big fan of. Just says camel right there with old Joe right there, made up of dots. Very much the same look as we see on the front of the packaging, just a little bit smaller. And then we can also see there's the uh, sort of like dot that we can see right here on the top of the packaging too, signifying that this is indeed the camel flavored pop capsule cigarette or something like that kind of thing this is indeed all embossed which i'm a fan of and i want to say this is embossed as well but i'm gonna have to check that after i get the selfie off because it's kind of like right on the ridge and everything like that kind of thing pretty good look for the front of the packaging though pretty much exact same as we saw on the front of the packaging just smaller you know what i'm saying and then moving on to the bottom we can just see it's a slightly more simplified version of the top of the packaging doesn't say camel on it but there's still that dot and old joe is still here this time not embossed but under old joe it just says tropical brew right there once again the design does indeed stretch around with the uh, lines and everything like that kind of thing and i am a pretty big fan of this look as a whole we can see some numbers to the side right there and those numbers just read uh zero two six three four zero zero w h three k five f d c two o b two seven uh and that's uh pretty much what it says right there not exactly sure what that means. I figure that's like a shipping code or like a production date code. Not exactly sure what it means. If you guys know what it means though, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all, there's, all there is to the packaging. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the uh, cellophane all off. And let's go ahead and start taking a look at the quality of the packaging. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I am a bigger fan than not of the look of this packaging. I really do think it is very much an, I'd have to say, um, wow, right off the bat, I can, wow. That smells honestly very tropically, like very tropical fruit smell. And at the moment I got the cellophane all off, wow, I am actually kind of kind of impressed. But in my personal opinion, the pack is very much a sort of like almost semi um, like luxury look kind of thing. Not quite, not quite, I definitely have to say, but it is very much in my personal opinion, like a very, very much a, a high end sort of mid range cigarette look, which is a look I am a pretty big fan of. That is for sure. One thing I forgot to mention about the packaging is that this is indeed a round corner box, which I am not a super big fan of. Round corner boxes tend to suck in my personal opinion, at least. And we can see there's a massive tab right here that just looks like crap kind of thing. This would look so much better if it didn't have a massive tab right here and whatnot kind of thing or like it's that you can just kind of like flick with your fingers. Like it's not like that on all sides, don't get me wrong, but it just comes off as lower quality than not. And I would much rather just see a hard pack, like a hard corner box in all honesty. This is a hard pack, but I'd much rather just see a hard corner box in all honesty. But uh, yeah, yeah. Not a big fan of the round corner box. Uh, what's the uh, texture of the pack look uh, seem like though? What's the texture of the pack and everything like that kind of thing? It's very much, I'd have to say, a sort of just normal printed paperboard texture. Gets a little bit more sticky and glossy as you run your fingers over all of these details and everything like that kind of thing, but not really significantly so. More so than not, it's pretty much just this same sort of feeling all the way around. Pretty good feeling if I do say so myself. This dot up here is indeed embossed and there is indeed no embossment on the bottom of the packaging and all of the embossment that is there I've already talked about. So I do suppose the only thing left to do about, the only thing left to do with this pack of cigarettes is to get it all opened up. Um, but yeah, no, the quality of, oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention as well. Well, I'm gonna go and just cover the quality of the packaging real quick. The quality of the packaging is not bad by any means, but it's not great either kind of thing. It's just a round corner box, it's to be expected kind of thing. But one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys, see if I could show you guys what all the lines look like. And since the cellophane isn't on there anymore, I think you guys can see the lines just a little bit better kind of thing. But those lines are indeed on there kind of thing. They're a little bit hard to see 
on the camera, but they are indeed there kind of thing. They are indeed there. We can see the L for the camel right here kind of thing. That's the one that's most distinct. You can see the A right there. The C is above there. It's a little bit hard to see, I will admit, but all of those lines are there. That is one thing I wanted to go and show you guys. But now that I've shown you guys that, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up and let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh, inside of the cigarette pack looks like and what the foil looks like as well. And on the inside of the cigarette lid, there is nothing going on, but the but the cigarette insert has a very, very, very interesting color. It's very orange, just like this dot right here. Very, very, very bright orange. Pretty much the exact same orange. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then in sort of a dark blue, it just says, not ordinary, it's camel emoji. No, just kidding. It's, they're just trying to say it's camel. Um, so yeah, not, 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 not ordinary, it's camel. I don't know, Camel's a pretty ordinary brand of cigarettes kind of thing. I'm like, they're not bad cigarettes, but maybe they're trying to say it's not an ordinary Camel. No, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to say it's not ordinary. It's not any other brand of cigarettes. It's Camel. That's what they're trying to say. That's, I don't know what they're thinking with that kind of thing. They should just say not your ordinary Camel or something like that kind of thing because it's flavored. It's flavored or something like that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know what they're going with with that. I don't... It looks... It's, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really mean anything to me in all honesty. It's, it's a Camel kind of thing. Put that on a pack of Dunhills or something like that, and I'll be more impressed. But this is a camel <laughs> pack. Of, this is a, this is a pack of camels, so I don't know in all honesty. But but I guess they got. I guess they got to make it. I guess they got to make the consumer feel like they spent their money well and everything like that kind of thing. Which I guess they're trying to do with that. But, you know, as said, the uh, cigarette insert right here is just all orange. There's this uh, dark blue text right here, and then the foil itself has a pretty nice look. If I do say so myself, just says camel right there, kind of wrapping around, which is very different than right here where it's flat. It's very interesting. And then the uh, camel, uh, the old Joe, old Joe himself is back to his normal self kind of thing. He's just looking like normal old Joe, not with the uh, dots or anything like that. would have been really cool if they had kept the exact same design for the foil as well. But sadly, they did not. That would have been really, really, really cool though. But I figure they just wanted to reuse a foil from one of their other cigarettes. It makes sense. Uh, you're saving uh, pennies on the dollar and everything like that kind of thing, if not less than pennies on the dollar. But it makes sense when you're producing uh, hundreds of thousands of packs and everything like that kind of thing that is for sure. But we can see surrounding the uh, camel logo right here, there are a bunch of lines just going around in silver and everything like that kind of thing. Pretty nice look if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, texture of the foil is like. Very uh, much sort of like a foily on one side, very papery on the other side. Let's go and see how easily this rips out. And oh, wow, that's annoying. I ain't gonna lie. That is really, really, really annoying. And there's a bug that landed on my head. Get that bug off. That's really annoying though. This did not rip out satisfyingly at all try to rip the rest of this out oh wow well, yeah that did not rip out satisfyingly at all it is it is what it is though it is what it is the look of the foil is pretty good if i do say so myself but that did not rip out satisfyingly at all whatever it is what it is before i go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out which right off the bat look really interesting i am going to go ahead and take a sip of water real quick and now without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh quality of the cigarettes is, what the look of the cigarettes is, and what they smell like, what the blend of the tobacco is like, and everything like that kind of thing. I'm trying to get this cigarette out without taking any other cigarettes out with it. Now that I've done that, let's go ahead and get this all closed up, which closed a little bit harder than not, but it closed nonetheless, so I can't complain. Let's go ahead and put that pack down, and now let's go ahead and take a look at what the look of this cigarette is actually like. And right off the bat, much more interesting look than not. Much more interesting look than not. Look at that, y'all. Wow. Okay. That's really interesting. It's got a sort of like paint splatter, sort of like just I threw paint at a wall kind of look kind of thing, which I am not a super big fan of, I will admit, because it doesn't, I mean, like it's, it's got like it, the, the colors, I mean, like they do match, but the colors aren't even exactly the same kind of thing. And they're not using the same three colors, orange, yellow, and, and blue. They're not using the same three colors. They're using a bunch of different colors. These cigarettes smell really good right off the bat though. Um, but they're using different colors. They've got red on there. They've got like light blue. They've got like black on there as well and everything like that. I don't know, what, what are they doing kind of thing? They got the, this is red. It doesn't, it doesn't match the packaging at all. I mean, like it's, it's a pretty cool look for a cigarette. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't match the packaging at all. At all. Uh, but I'm really complaining about something pretty stupid right now, I will admit, because this is still a much better look than not. And uh, it's a pretty different look than what I'm used to seeing from a camel, that is for sure. Let's go ahead and start off with the dot right here, though. And this is, I assume, where you would press down on the cigarette to get your tropical flavor. We could just see, I'm, I'm surprised that's not an orange like it is on this, I will admit. I'm surprised it's not an orange. This is, is this isn't like a, a mix and match one, is it? 
No, all of this, all, all of the, all the cigarettes have the same, same color kind of thing. This is not a mix and match pack. This is, they're all, they all have the same flavor and everything like that kind of thing. And actually the quality of the packaging is actually kind of showing now. Um, I'm trying to close it and the, the lid keeps getting stuck on the inside of the pack. So you kind of have to squeeze that to get it closed. So yeah, this quality, the, the quality of the packaging is definitely, I'd have to say like slightly below average, not terrible, it still closes better than a germ pack, but still slightly below average. But, but let's go ahead and actually talk about the look of the cigarette now, instead of complaining about the quality of the packaging or how it doesn't look like the packaging, because this is still a much better look than not kind of thing. And I am a fan. It's just definitely not what I was expecting. That is for sure. Taking a look in the middle right here, though, we can see there is a circle, where is what, where, which is what you're meant to press, I assume, when you want to get your tropical flavor. On that circle, there is indeed Old Joe right there. And that circle is very much a yellow, and it has a sort of slightly like a darker sort of, a, I'd have to say like drop shadow to it kind of thing. It's slightly dark on one side, pretty light on the other side kind of thing. And we can see Old Joe is kind of like where Old Joe is standing is like a little bit darker. So it almost looked like, it looks like he's standing on sand or something like that kind of thing. Not too bad if I do say so myself. And going around that circle, there is sort of like a janky white line kind of thing that's meant to look like it was just like very roughly painted around and everything like that kind of thing. Not a bad look if I do say so myself. We can see the overall background besides the white right here is very much, or the background going around the dot is a blue. And then it goes to like yellow, blue, with some like spots right there. And then it goes to orange orange, white up here, goes to red, goes to yellow, and then some blue, and then back to blue right there kind of thing. Very much just kind of looking like you took a brush and then just kind of and that's kind of just how it looks like kind of thing. Just looking like uh, some abstract art and everything like that kind of thing that really shouldn't be considered abstract art in all honesty. Um, just kind of looking like that. Not a bad look if I do say so myself, just very different than the tie-dye look I saw in the front of the packaging. So I definitely wasn't expecting this look, but not a bad look nonetheless. And overall, I do like how this cigarette looks. It just doesn't really look like how you would think it would look based off the front to the packaging that is for sure when I first saw the colors I was like oh it's gonna be tie-dyed it's not tie-dyed at all kind of thing it's like painted which is very odd if I do say so myself but that's pretty much all there is to the look of the filter there is one line of perforation right here which is very easy to see on camera due to the coloration of the filter moving on below the filter though we could just see there's a white line right there and then there's a red line and then below that it just says camel right there in the classic camel logo and in the classic camel font and everything like that kind of thing certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure pretty good look if i do say so myself and that's pretty much all there is look wise to the cigarette definitely a better look than not and a look that i am a fan of it just doesn't really match with the packaging which is a little bit odd if I do say so myself but I definitely do like the look of this cigarette a lot more than not and it is a very 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 unique look in my personal opinion let's go and take a look at what the blend of the tobacco is like and I'd have to say the blend of the tobacco is very much a light medium blend in my personal opinion there are some sort of medium aspects to it but the main is sort of a, a lighter medium I, I'm, do I want to say this is like a light medium blend or just a or just like a medium blend kind of thing I'm not sure in all honesty I'm gonna actually just stick with like a medium blend kind of thing. It's not quite like a light medium blend. There are some lighter aspects to it, but there's also some darker aspects to it. And the, the light aspects aren't really super light and the dark aspects aren't really super dark. So it's more of just like a medium blend kind of thing. We can just see it right there though. That's what the blend looks like and everything like that kind of thing. Not too bad of a look if I do say so myself. And let's go ahead and just smell this cigarette right off the bat. And it smells no joke like candy. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. It does not smell like menthol. It smells like straight candy. No menthol smell at all. It smells like straight candy. I was thinking there was going to be some menthol at the beginning, but maybe there will be no menthol in this cigarette. Or maybe the pop capsule is just that intensely um, smelly kind of thing. I'm not sure. But no, this smells like straight candy, like almost gummy bear-like kind of thing. I have never smelled a cigarette that smells quite like this, that is for sure. I've smelled a cigarello that smells like this, kind of, not quite. I've never smelled a cigarette that smells like this. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I know. It's like a fruit gummy. That's what it smells like. It smells like like a mango or like pineapple fruit gummy or something. Like very much like a mango fruit gummy. It smells very much like a mango fruit gummy. That's what it smells like. It doesn't smell like real mango. It smells like mango fruit honey, like a like a mango fruit gummy. <sighs> yeah. It smells so sugary. It's so sweet. Oh my god. Just insanely sweet, insanely sugary, almost like a fruit gummy. That is wild, y'all. That is wild. Well, this uh, cigarette is uh, 
possibly going to be a lot more interesting than I was initially thinking it was going to be. Has a very interesting look to the packaging, has a very interesting look to the cigarette itself, has a very interesting smell as well. And if it tastes like this, I will be very, very, very surprised. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I will certainly have no complaints on my behalf. Well, I do suppose... I do suppose now it's time for me to go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. I don't do this very often though, but I think I am gonna do a dry puff with this cigarette. I wanna find out if there's any menthol in there. And yes, it is a menthol cigarette kind of thing. There is menthol in there, but oh my God. Oh wait. Ah, that's what it is. The tip of the cigarette is sweetened. Yeah, that's what it is. The tip of the cigarette is sweetened, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, the tip of the cigarette is sweetened. That's what it is. Oh my God, wow, yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, because I was, I was noticing there's like kind of dark right here and then lighter right here. And I'm wondering if that's where like the sugar line is kind of thing, but yeah, no, this, the, the tip of the cigarette is sweetened. That is wild, that is wild, y'all. Oh my God, damn. The tip of this cigarette is sweetened. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I do suppose, without further ado, before I go and get the cigarette all up, I'm gonna take a sip of water. And now, let's go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket. And now, let's go ahead and get one of my Camel Tropical Brew flavored cigarettes from Mexico all lit up. And let's go ahead and find out just how good or just how bad it is. Wow, that sweetened tip is so sweet though. That is crazy wild, I ain't gonna lie y'all. That explains where the sweetness of the uh, scent was coming from, that is for sure. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Hopefully that'll do for a screenshot. If not, it is what it is kind of thing. But the taste of the cigarette, right off the bat, is very much initially what I was expecting it to be kind of thing. It is very much initially what I was expecting to be. It is sort of a slightly mildly sweet, spearmint, basic spearmint sort of menthol taste kind of thing. Nothing too interesting going on right off the bat. But the sweetness is so much intensified by the sweetened tip of the cigarette. It's just so wild, I ain't gonna lie But yeah, no, the taste at the very, very, very beginning is very much just a sort of mildly sweet, basic spearmint menthol taste, almost just like toothpaste or something like that kind of thing, just not quite that intense, but it's just a very basic sort of spearmint taste. I definitely have to say nothing really too much going on. Body is not super big by any means. I definitely have to say right at the beginning, at least, I definitely am expecting it to get smaller, uh, not smaller, bigger as we move our way through the cigarette, but definitely not super biggie, at the, definitely not super biggie, definitely not super big at the beginning and definitely more airy than not due to the perforation. But after I take one more hit, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop the pop capsule and see what this cigarette tastes like after you pop the pop capsule and see what that tropical brew flavor actually is. Airflow, perfectly fine in all honesty. The draw, definitely a little bit lighter than not, much more airy than not kind of thing. Very easy cigarette to draw, that is for sure. Not super heavy draw by any means. And before popping the pop capsule, it's very much, I'd have to say like a four out of 10 on the roughness and smoothness scale. Not super rough by any means, pretty smooth. Actually, if I do say so myself, I feel like just due to the mildness of the menthol. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pop capsule all crushed and let's go ahead and find out what the Tropical Brew flavor actually is. There we go, just like that. Let's give that a moment to just soak in. And now let's go ahead and ash a cigarette and let's go ahead and take a hit. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. 
And right off the bat, the intensity of the flavor definitely made the cigarette a little bit more rough just for a moment there, but it's kind of smoothed out again. And wow, that is insanely sweet. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It honestly almost tastes like candy. Wow. The sweetness of the filter is still in there just a little bit, but the main sweetness is now coming from the pop capsule, not from the sweetness of the filter. And it tastes very much like a, and wow, that flavor as well did a ridiculously good job of covering up the menthol, I will admit. Now the menthol was a lighter menthol than none, it wasn't super intense by any means, but that flavor does a really good job of covering up the menthol. The menthol is still very much an undertone, but it's barely in there. And the flavor I'm getting now is very much a... <sighs> almost sickly sweet sort of citrusy fruit flavor kind of thing. It's not really distinctly any one fruit kind of thing. It's kind of like a mix of pineapple, mango, coconut, could be any sort of like tropical fruit, tropical plants kind of thing. It could be any number of them. Or it's just a mix of all of them. I'd have to say it's probably just like a mix. Tropical brew makes me think like fruit punch kind of thing. So it's just like a mix of all of those flavors, but it's very much like a super sweet, almost candy-like fruit punch. Tastes like Hawaiian fruit punch. Like really sweet, like Hawaiian fruit punch you buy in a jug kind of thing. That's that's just how sweet this is. That, that's like, it's like comparable sweetness. This is a candy cigarette right here, y'all. This, this cigarette is so sweet, it's like candy. That is wild. It is almost too sweet for my personal preference, and I like sweet things. My God, this is, this is wild, y'all. I was not expecting this when I, when I first started this review. As you continue smoking, the flavor of the tropical brew definitely does die down just a little bit and the menthol comes back uh, in full strength that is for sure and so now it's very much an even mix of the tropical brew and the menthol I definitely have to say but uh more so than not that tropical brew is still in there distinctly and it is still very 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 sweet although less sweet than it was initially that is for sure but wow that is just insanely sweet certainly helped by the sweetened filter as well if I had popped, if I had popped the pop capsule right at the beginning of the cigarette and um, started smoking, and I had that sweetened filter, it might have been too sweet. In all honesty, I'm, I'm glad I didn't pop it right at the beginning. That is for sure. And I think with the rest of this pack, I might do that once, but I don't think I'm going to be popping the pop capsule immediately. That is for sure. I think I'm just going to enjoy it at around about the halfway point. I ain't going to lie, y'all. But you know, the flavor is very much a sort of. After you pop the pop capsule, the flavor, the taste is very much a sort of super sweet, sort of tropical fruit punch like taste kind of thing. Very much like mango, pineapple, most distinctly, I'd have to say. A little bit uh, citrusy kind of thing for sure, but the main overwhelming taste of it is just that sweet sort of fruit punch like taste kind of thing. Insanely sweet, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <sighs> yeah. Wow. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. And as we're getting towards the bottom of the cigarette, the airflow has definitely opened up just a little bit kind of thing, as I was kind of expecting. The draw has gotten, I'd have to say, a little bit easier, but you're getting more smoke as well. And let's go ahead and test the body real quick. Body has also definitely gotten a little bit bigger as well, definitely a lot bigger than it was at the beginning, just due to this being a 100 size cigarette. That's generally how 100 size cigarettes act, is that the body gets a little bit bigger towards the bottom, and this cigarette is no exception, that is for sure. But overall, wow, I am impressed by this pack of cigarettes right here. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Ooh, wow. The roughness, the smoothness of the cigarette, very much a... I would have to say a four out of ten, definitely lower than I thought it would be. Than I thought it would be, maybe even a three out of ten kind of thing. Really, really, really smooth cigarette that is for sure. I'd have to say like a three or four out of ten kind of thing. Definitely, I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave it at a four out of ten because there are some points in the cigarette which are a little bit rougher than not. But definitely a three or four out of ten on the roughness and smoothest scale, with ten being the roughest and one being the smoothest. And there are mosquitoes swarming me now. But let's go ahead and finish off this cigarette and let's go ahead and start on my final thoughts. <sighs> I'm gonna go and stub this cigarette out as I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all I had to the cigarette. Just 
stub that out and that is that was pretty much all i had to the cigarette let's just see where the filter starts and the filter starts right where the uh white line ends i definitely have to say or right where the uh white paper ends i definitely have to say so just ends exactly where you would think it would end in all honesty but um overall more so than not, these are some fantastic cigarettes. So what are my final thoughts on them? Well, the packaging, I am a huge fan of, that is for sure. I'm a huge fan of this packaging. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'd have to say the uh, details of the packaging and the foreground of the packaging and the background of the packaging are all things I like. It's very distinct from a distance, very distinct up close kind of thing. Not as distinct from a distance as it is up close, but there are just so many cool details to the packaging, excuse me, that I am a huge fan of. So I certainly have no complaints on my behalf about the packaging. I like it quite a bit. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. I definitely have to say the look of the inside of the pack is a pretty decent look. The foil looked good while I was in there and the look of the cigarettes is uh, pretty fantastic as well. That is for sure, although it doesn't quite line up with the look of the pack yet it does at the same time kind of thing it's definitely a little bit different than i thought it was going to look and the smoking experience of these cigarettes as a whole is in all honesty pretty dang good if i do say so myself at the very beginning before you um before you pop the pop caps you get a very nice mild sort of spearmint basic menthol taste with the sweetness of the sweetened tip of the sweetened filter coming through as well kind of thing and once you pop the pop caps you get an uber 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 mega sweet <laughs> uber 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 mega sweet um sort of fruit punch like taste kind of thing like tropical fruit punch sort of taste really 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 nice if i do say so myself um and I'd have to say the the body as a whole kind of thing um, started off small, got bigger as to, as you got towards the end. The airflow started off light, got a little bit heavier towards the end. Same with the body, started off light, got a little bit heavier towards the end, but was still much lighter than not due to the perforation on the filter. And overall, these cigarettes were a lot smoother than I expected them to be. And I'd have to say, so I'd have to say they're about a four out of ten kind of thing on the roughness smoothness scale. Not too bad if I do say so myself. These are some great smokes, that is for sure. And I would have to say this is one of the best flavored cigarettes I've tried from Mexico so far. I am a big fan of this cigarette, that is for sure. I'm not sure if it's actually my favorite. My favorite flavored cigarette from Mexico at the moment is definitely the Winston Oasis Mix, which is another Japan tobacco product. Um, but this is definitely, I think, going to be taking my number two spot. It's too much for me to buy on a routine basis, and that's one of the things I like about the Winston Oasis Mix, is that while it does have a bold, sort of like almost watermelon flavor to it with the menthol and everything like that kind of thing, it's not so intense where I couldn't buy it on a routine basis kind of thing. It's an easy cigarette to smoke kind of thing. You can definitely buy it on a routine basis kind of thing. This, on the other hand, is something where it's kind of like it's so sweet you want to kind of just buy the pack on special occasions. It's very much just how this pack of cigarettes is, but it's still a great pack nonetheless. Would I buy this again? 100% I would buy this again. Very, very, very interesting, different smoke from what I'm used to and definitely a little bit more different than what I was expecting as well. And overall, I'm thinking the rating for this pack of cigarettes is going to be a solid, I'm thinking eight out of 10. I'm thinking an eight out of 10 for this pack of cigarettes right here. I would have to say, the main points I'm having to take off for is just that it's too sweet kind of thing. It's too sweet. Um, but it's still a great smoke nonetheless. Very, very, very enjoyable if I do say so myself. But, you know, definitely an 8 out of 10 for this pack of cigarettes right here in my personal opinion. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am a fan. Honestly, should I bump it up to an 8.5? I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm kind of thinking about bumping this up to an 8.5 in all honesty. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? 8.5 or 8? Mmm, really good, really good smoke. I'm gonna leave it at eight because I just couldn't buy this on a routine basis. Really good smoke nonetheless though. Definitely deserving of the eight out of 10 rating, that is for sure. I think that's pretty much all I had to say in all honesty. Comparable cigarettes to this one right here. Um, some of the flavored palm oils, um have a, almost as much of an intense flavor and some of them as well have a sweetened tips, I've noticed. So some of those are comparable as well. Comparable in like sweetness though, there's really none other, there's really no other flavored cigarettes from Mexico coming to mind in all honesty. This is more so than not a unique cigarette to the Mexican cigarette market, on the Mexican cigarette market that is for sure. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, I ain't gonna lie y'all. But you know, definitely eight out of 10 for the Camel Tropical Brew flavored cigarettes from Mexico. This has been an enjoyable smoke and I'm definitely gonna enjoy smoking the rest of the pack. Although I don't know how quickly I'm gonna smoke the rest of the pack just because the flavor is just that intensely sweet. But it's still a great cigarette nonetheless, that is for sure. I like my sweet cigarettes, but this is a little bit up there kind of thing. This is a little bit up there. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, 
I'm probably going to smoke this pack of cigarettes pretty fast. I'm probably going to smoke it pretty fast, in all honesty. I, I probably will. I probably will smoke it pretty quickly, because this, this is a good smoke, I can lie. It really is a good smoke. Very, very, very enjoyable stuff. Very, very, very sweet. Very enjoyable. I like it, that is for sure. I'm probably going to smoke it faster than not. And you know what? I'm going to bump up the rating to an 8.5. I'm going to bump up the rating to an 8.5 out of 10, because actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, while I might not buy this pack as like my daily pack kind of thing, you know what? Whenever I wanted something a little bit different, I wouldn't mind buying this pack right here. So, yeah. I'm going to actually leave it at an 8.5 out of 10 rating for the Camel Tropical Brew flavored cigarettes from Mexico. I think that's all I had to say, though. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried this pack of cigarettes right here. If you guys have, let me know what you guys thought of it. And of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir.